Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey if anybody is new and joining me here for the first time. Thank you so much. My slogan is believable brown beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It is just an explanation of the makeup I do on this channel. Also sometimes I like to use makeup in slightly unconventional ways so if that sounds like something you'd like please keep watching. Okay just have to put a little disclaimer out there. If I look stiff, I've pulled a muscle in my neck and shoulder. I've had the worst night's sleep. It is 6.14. I've been up since 5, uh, 5.35 today, trying to sort this whole little studio thing out. And man, when you pull one muscle in your body, it affects everything, the way you walk. Like I was trying to put my hair up today and I was like, that hurts. Brushing my teeth, that hurts. Moisturizer, that hurts. So if I'm a bit stiff, that is the reason why. In this video, I am going to do a recreation of a look that I did um, maybe last week. Yeah, I think last week that got a lot of likes and it was a really, really, really simple makeup. So I thought mm, I'm going to share that with everyone. Ow. <laughs> I'm going to share that with everyone because they seem to like it. So, um, um, so yeah, it's a glossy eye and a lip and that's pretty much it. I'm going to use this my new, one of my new favourite, I have a lot of favourite products, but this stuff for um, priming skin and for minimising visibility of pores, wins, 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 wins. This is what I used last week as well. I was testing this because I had used it in male grooming and it seemed to be doing a really good job. But to be honest, when you do male grooming, they don't really wear like a full face of makeup like how a lady or a woman does. Lady. So... <laughs> Um, I thought, oh, let me try it on myself. I had a client that day. Let me try it on myself properly. Wear it for a full day in 32 degree heat and see how my makeup holds up. Now, I'm not going to tell you that you won't sweat because you will, and I did, but my makeup didn't move. So this is definitely a kit staple. It's the MAC um, Pore Refiner Stick. Absolute love. Absolute love. I'm not being paid. I bought this myself with my own cash. It's a good product. And even if I was being paid, I'm not gonna tell you stuff is good if it's really rubbish because that defeats the whole purpose of <laughs> the whole purpose of me being here. I'm gonna move on to foundation now. I'm using my Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G110. And I'm gonna buff this on. So when I was doing this or preparing like my makeup for today for this video, I was like, oh, maybe I need to make it a bit more interesting. It's so simple what I wore. Maybe people are gonna think it's boring. And I was just like, no, stop being stupid. If that's what people like, so just do what they wanted to see. That's what you like, that's why you wore it. It's so funny since I've been doing this, it's just teaching me a lot about myself because there's so many traps, you know, you can be so deceitful um, you can be so fake and I don't want to be either of those things so I have to hold myself accountable so I'm not going to just start jazzing things up and throwing in a million products because I have an insecurity and feel like if I don't do like lots of different steps people are going to think my videos are boring but you know this is I created this channel for women like me who don't really want to have too much fuss but still want to look beautiful so I'm just going to do exactly what I did on the day I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Cream and Concealer in Cafe. I was wrong last week. I've still got a tan. Um, so Cafe is still fine. Just use that to brighten around the eye area. Now, on the day I had actually did this, you can see I'm carrying it over my lid. So this eyelid looks um, more like even in colour because my lids are naturally quite dark and it is brighter gosh it's still early my brain is still trying to catch up it's really nice just to have an even canvas underneath the gloss so I did that then eh, 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 stiff neck I got a little bit of um, Amand just because I wanted to be extra not because I actually need it but a tiny bit just to brighten a bit more this dark ring here and here and just go back to my foundation brush and just lightly press over it. I don't actually put any more product on. I'm going to go to my brows. I am using my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter to brush up Struggolina. Oh god, this is so painful. And then brush up my good eyebrow. 
couldn't be my right arm or my right side that I messed up. It had to be the left, you know, the side that I need the most. Okay, I'm gonna go to my setting powder. It's a really, really simple makeup. Should be very easy to edit and not too long for you to watch. I am taking this brush from Louise Young and it is LY49A. And I'm literally just gonna stop stamping this in. So I'm gonna try and make my skin a bit more matte than usual because I feel like if you have a, an area of high gloss on your face, it kind of makes sense to not be super dewy and shiny everywhere so that the glossiness really becomes a feature of your makeup. So I might look more matte. How does it look on camera? Yeah, it is more matte than my skin usually looks, but that's fine. I actually like it because I've got a glossy lid. Sometimes I don't pay any attention to anything I just said and I just have everything shiny, but today I am not gonna do that. Right, I'm gonna go to my Danessa Myricks powder, Evolution powder in number five. Do a little bit of powder on the forehead. I'm gonna mix actually just here so it can make my forehead look a little bit dull as it's a bit darker than my skin. I'm gonna use it a tiny bit as a really soft contour. You don't have to do this, I'm just being extra. I can't remember if I did this on the day, but now, now that I've started, I'm not gonna stop. Okay. Then I am going to do my brows. I'm taking my, my precisely my brow pencil in number five and just filling in the gaps. I feel like I say this every time because I never know who's new watching my channel, but I like my eyebrows like this. They've had a little tidy because they're getting a little bit unruly, but I like quite a natural shape to my brow and I like them to look like hair so I don't fill in every gap because even people that have got really great brows like uh, Brooke Shields, they still have gaps in them because your hair doesn't grow like fur, like solid. There, there are gaps, so I don't make them too blocky or too solid is the word, I think. Yeah, it's too solid. But you can see, like, well, I don't know if you can. Can you see? There's still little gaps. There's <laughs> still little gaps in there, so I think it just makes my face look more realistic. Um, I am going to line my eyes with some cold pencil. You can just take any favourite cold pencil that you like. I, oh, what's that? Oh, the sharpness come out at the end. Okay. I just use this um, Estee Lauder double wear pencil. It's quite good. Then, I'm going to take some of this. Some lip gloss. This is the clear lip gloss from MAC. Honestly, guys, it is such a wonderful product. The packaging is absolutely appalling. I don't know why they haven't figured out a way to stop this lip gloss from leaking when um, I worked there years ago it had a different lid the lid was round and it leaked and then they repackaged it and we were like yeah it's gonna come back and not leak it still leaks so even though I love the product I have to put masking tape around there it's like it's not something you can carry in your makeup bag it will just make everything sticky and messy but for high shine lip gloss. There's now like it. I love it, so good. So this is all I had on in that um, picture. I had a really simple glossy eye and a really, really simple lip. A tiny bit of blusher and that was it. Lots of mascara and that was it. You can see I'm just using my ring finger I like to always put glosses on with my hands. There's another one that they do, that MAC does, um, the Pro Gloss, and it comes in a different tube. It looks like, um, the end of it looks like a uh, duo glue. Oh, sugar. Let me see if I've got something here to show you what it looks like. So imagine this, but it's clear. It's got a black lid, clear body with clear gloss. It's called like Pro Brilliant Gloss or something. That one is less sticky. See, if you find stickiness, um, I have it somewhere in my kit, but I, can't, I really can't dig it out with my neck at the moment. Um, if you have a problem with really sticky gloss, that's, 
that's a good one to use okay I'm gonna go to my mascara now so I'm gonna go and use my extended play giga black mascara somebody left me a funny comment on uh, my last video saying wow look at you getting all those mascara names right the first time and that really made me laugh because for people that have been watching my channel for a while you know that I have been struggling for ages to say these mascaras properly even though I use them every time and in my last video I got it right even for my editing when I edited it I was like oh yeah I said that properly first time around there's not like five clips of me saying the name of the mascara which they usually was so that was funny that made me laugh then I'm going to top it off with my In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. Whenever I do look like this, like the fashion makeup artist comes out of me a bit more. So I've gone really, really heavy with the mascara just to make it a definite feature and a look. If you are not comfortable wearing clumpy mascara, you don't think it suits you or you just don't like it, you don't have to do this. But I like to put like a little bit of a quirky spin on it rather than just doing what I would normally do with a more traditional beauty star makeup. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my lips. This little lipstick I really like. Um, I don't know, I don't know if it was on live or in another video that I did, but I was saying that I'm jealous of my white friends that could wear lipsticks like Lady Danger and a bit of mascara and just look so cool like they haven't really tried. And if I try and put on a red lip with a little mascara or no mascara and bare skin, uh, it doesn't work so well. So I went on the hunt to find my type of summer red and I really love this. When I first saw it, I was just like, is this a kind of lipstick that my auntie would wear? Like, not the cool auntie, you know, the auntie auntie. And I thought, well, actually, no, there's something about the formula that makes it really modern. So it doesn't look like I've got grandma lipstick on. So I'm going to show you this colour. I'm just going to take off my lip balm. Very, very professionally with my fingers. Like, this is what I do when I do my own makeup. I find actually that if I use my fingers it's it's better because sometimes a tissue or a wipe can take away too much moisture so yeah I do actually like to use my fingers not on clients but on myself I do it like this this is the Bobbi Brown crush lip color and the color I'm using is grenadine that's the lip that I had on no no lip pencil and this is what I love about this lipstick like sometimes when you have really full lips, you, you kind of get into the pattern of the habit of always having to use a lip pencil. Sometimes you don't want to use a lip pencil. And when I was thinking of this look, I didn't have a lip pencil in mind. So when I was looking for my summer red lipstick, I was like, it needs to be something really easy and breezy with no lip pencil. And for me, this color works. I'm gonna go on to the final step, which is blusher. And I am using my favorite which is Fleur Power. It's just such a pretty blush. I've always loved this one. I think I always was gonna be something that I wear and it'll always be something that I have in my kit. I love Fleur Power. So this is what I did. This was the whole makeup. I've talked a lot in this, so it's probably taken longer, but actually there wasn't that much to it. I'm gonna show you one more thing you could do if you want to, um, change a bit more you can add more gloss in more areas so I'm just going to show you quickly sometimes I like to use lip gloss as highlighter on the skin so I just take a tiny bit of my finger and just tap it here really lightly though because you still want the eyes to be the main focus Ooh. really be sure to blend everything away you don't want patchy glossy cheekbones it's not a good look and I find fingers really useful for this and then if you wanted to you could even add more gloss to the lip oh I like that with gloss on I didn't do this on the day and see how shiny this gloss is it's so good it's such a great product just awful packaging hmm, I like so guys there you have it this is the final look this is very 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 similar to the look that I wore on my Instagram on that post but I've just added gloss to the lips which I really love and I've put a, <laughs> put a tiny bit of gloss on my cheekbones just to make 
um, a more subtle highlighter but it's a really simple makeup to do and it lasted the whole day my skin definitely my lips never do because you know eating and all that kind of stuff I always take lips off but my skin was pretty much perfect so when I came back and I had way less shine than I normally would if I had been out in full makeup in that heat because my skin does get a bit oily in the middle so yeah that Paul Refiner Stick, I think it's called. It's like a hero product, I love it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle for you here. I do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT, unless I'm going to the beach like I did last week. But um, generally, every Sunday I do um, a Get Ready With Me in the morning. So if you'd like to see me do makeup in real time and have a chat and ask me some questions, please feel free to join me there. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, please hit the notification bell too, so you know when my videos go up. Um, that is everything. I hope you have a lovely week whenever you watch this and I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.